hospital that uh, is funded by the Australian Red Cross through the Kenya Red Cross and uh, is, a, is, a, is an integrated food security project uh, being implemented in Mungi district. Mungi district is, is in the eastern part of, of, of Kenya. The project main objective is to provide a farming opportunity and, 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 and to change the over-dependence on relief food. For many years, the communities in this area have always relied on, on relief food from the government. And uh, as part of our of, 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 of Kenya Red Cross strategic, strategic plan, uh, we have a very strong focus in, 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 in implementing sustainable food security projects across Kenya. And uh, the Mwingi Integrated Food Security Project is one of our flagship food security projects in Kenya. Um, so far as we speak, the, the community is clearing the land, uh, ready for cultivation. Uh, uh, community mobilization has already been done. The community is very excited about the project. When you talk to the local administration and the community administration, they are telling you that it is time for the community to, to shift from over-reliance on relief food and at least start uh, uh, focusing on, on, on food security. This project has several components. One is to provide irrigation to the farms that will be owned by the community. Two is to provide agricultural extension services in conjunction with the, the government of Kenya and through the Ministry of Agriculture. Uh, the Ministry of, of Agriculture are our key collaborators. This community is going to be trained uh, on, 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 on appropriate agricultural practices. They are going to be trained on, on irrigation methods, on crop husbandry. Uh, they are going to be trained on beekeeping as an income generating activity. The next steps in this is to start the farming immediately. As you can see at the background, the project is, has already started. The, the community is very busy clearing. Eh? And, 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 and after this, uh, the, the, the farms are going to cloud. Eh? And, and, and that will now, will now give the next stage of the project, where by now the, 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 the delaying of the, of the education facilities will be done. The farms and the pipeline. We are very happy. As Kenya Red Cross Society, to be part of this project, we know it's a long way from here. We have we have faced uh, a number of challenges, but we have overcome them together with the government. And uh, we are looking forward to the next three months and see how this project. Hapa tuko katika gala ya Peter Kilonzo Maithi. Hapa chakula ambayo nimeweka, nimeweka kunde. Ndiyo nimetoa kwa shamba kwa maana inaweza haribika haraka. Hiyo tu ndiyo nimeweka kwa wakati. Hile ingine ni mahindi kidogo. Na pia green grams kidogo. Kwa na haja ya mradi ambao unaweza kuwa unaletea shule pesa na tulipo ongea na watu wa Red Cross wakawa wanaweza kujitolea kutusaidia na kifaa hiki cha Red Cross. Tulizungumza, wakakubali, tufukwanza tuliaplaye, wakakubali kutupa, alafu wakatupeleka kwa mafundisho, tukafundishwa jinsi ya kufanya na greenhouse, alafu ndipo tulikuja, tukaanzisha. Mara ya kwanza tulipata kiro 24, mara ya pili tulipata kilo 50, na leo tunaona pia tunaweza pata kama 50 ama 60. Red, Red Cross imetusaidia sana na na mimea tomatoes tunaendelea na kupata manufaa manufa, yake na inatusaidia kwa kuuza na kupata pesa
getting this access to other areas. There are greenhouses which have been set up and uh, several organizations have done it, Red Cross has done it and we are happy because uh, the, 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 the farmers actually are getting a uh, benefit for the crop. And this is also actually ensuring that uh, at least the people can get some little income, they have also a source of, uh, source of food. There are also kitchen gardens which have been developed at small scale. This one is ensuring that at least our farmers or our households are healthy in terms of eating balanced diet. Tuko na shukrani sana kwa Red Cross ndio kutuletea mradi wa greenhouse pia Mungu awabariki sana. Tulipoletewa hii mradi na Kenya Red Cross tulianza kupanda na vile tuliendelea hii hii project tukaona ni nzuri kutakuwa na na shida ya chakula. Tutakuwa hata kwa masomo watoto watasoma kwa vile watu tutakuwa na njaa asante kwa hawa red cross kwa kutuletea hiyo ni hiyo greenhouse imetusaidia sana we are not saying that we have not done much as dsg we have tried as much as we can to uh, sensitize our farmers and uh, one of the things that we have tried to do is to ensure that uh, they, are, they are growing the drought escaping crops pata nyanya imezaa vizuri sana katika greenhouse na ni wakati ambao hautarajii kuwa na nyanya hata popote. Ile ni nyanya ambayo ni ya hali ya juu na inatoka wakati wa, wakati wote wakati ambapo hata hakuna nyanya katika soko. Mafunzo tumepanga kufunza wakulima kwani tuliona moja kati ya mambo ambayo yanachangia kuwa wakulima wanakosa pengine kupata mazao ama kuwa vulnerable ni kutojua jinsi ya kupanda mainly what is there is we are encouraging our households or our farmers instead of just getting free food they get food which they have worked for we have got an extent actually of uh, having cash for work so this one is uh, to take care of uh, the aspects of uh, promoting or buying the foods that are uh, within our localities and ends also meeting other household needs when we received information that uh, and the news that uh, and the Kenya Red Cross Society will donate a greenhouse kit here. It was good news for me, good news for the school, good news for everybody here. We trained on management, we trained on the application of fertilizers and insecticides. We prepared the seed bed and started preparing the, 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 the nursery. And then later we transplanted that one. Before the Red Cross kit came, we had an enrollment of 274 pupils. Today, as we speak, we have 298, developing very good values in our pupils. Abu Belene atuko tunapata shakula, lakini penye ngrina usipoletwa, tulipata shakula kikawa atuna shida ya shakula challenge. Before the project started, the enrollment was fluctuating. Sometimes they could drop out of school because of food shortages and the school could not supplement because we do not have any source of income. The pupils are eager to learn. They usually assist, for example, putting manure, digging. The pupils are attending school without being absent and they are enjoying even the modern work farming methods and now they are going to practice it at all. Hence, 
there is some full stability, there will be full stability in the area. It is going to help us a great deal because we know the enrollment is going to rise and there will be no dropouts in school. We never had other means of livelihood except agriculture. Tumi tangu tulipo weka hizi mizinga, tulikuwa na ugumu wa kungojea nyuki maana tujizi za kuja lini. Kwa hivyo kila wakati inatubindi, mbada ya wiki moja tunakuja kuangalia. Mradi huu tunaona utaleta manufaa kama kikundi kwa sababu, hali yake vile tunaona itayetuletea ya kwa kupata asali. Maana tutaenda tupate asali tuanze kuuza kwa kilo na unajua asali hii inakuwa yenye guvu sana na pia hii asali itatusaidia kwa sababu itaweza kutafutiwa bei ambayo itakuwa bei ya watu wenye nguvu kwa kikundi ile nasema ni kikundi kikiwa pamoja kitaweza kuuza kwa ile tunaweza kusema na ushirika mmoja kwa bei mzuri ukipata fedha tunaweza kutoa kule shuleni na pia tutaweza kujisaidia katika hali ya kutafuta chakula na pia hata mavasi maana ni lazima tujibadilishe kulingana na hali tuna vile tumepata maendeleo wale wadisaidia tutawaambia ni asanti na tutaendelea na kuwashika mikono na kuwaonyesha ya kwamba tutatia bidii kuongezea ili wanapotusikia hata wakiondoka huko wanapotusikia wanasikia kweli tuna maendeleo tumeachiwa na tunaendelea vizuri